Hello guys, my name is Kavya. I am currently pursuing my MTech at IIT Kharagpur from the Department of uh, Aerospace Engineering. I took the GATE paper in the year 2023. It was my first, very first attempt and I joined the GATE Aerospace Academy for my coaching in the year 2022. So I took coaching for about 8 to 9 months. This team, the team of GATE Aerospace Academy was very supportive starting you know, from the time I, I joined them for coaching till the time I was admitted uh, into IIT Kharagpur uh, for my MTech course. So this video has brief of information about what a student would want to know uh, about IIT Kharagpur's aerospace engineering department. So let's get into the video. Talking about the campus, the campus it's a lush, green, beautiful campus spread up at around 2,100 acres. It is the oldest IIT in India. It offers a wide variety of uh, courses in a wide variety of uh, disciplines, uh, ranging from core engineering branches uh, to MBA. Moving further, coming to our, our uh, aerospace department, so the department came into existence about uh, 1960s and was, you know, renamed and reestablished as the Department of Aerospace Engineering in late 1980s. So the department is actually identified in top 10 journals in aerospace engineering and interdisciplinary areas and top 10 academic conferences around the world where the faculties and students are encouraged to publish their research works. So at present, we have about uh, 23 to 25 uh, professors, highly qualified professors in the department, each uh, specializing and working in different areas in the field of aerospace. <coughs> courses offered at IIT Kharagpur. There are 34 plus courses offered at IIT Kharagpur. So the major degrees offered at IIT Kharagpur, apart from the B.Tech courses, is the M.Tech and the Ph.D. There is also option of direct Ph.D. that one might want to pursue right after the B.Tech. So for an M.Tech admission, uh, one need not give any sort of interview. It is purely based on your grade score that you get admitted. You get an admission into IIT Kharagpur. So there's no interview for M.Tech. Whereas for Ph.D., um, you have uh, the PhD admissions are taken twice a year, one I think in uh, autumn and the other in spring. So uh, depending on the specialization that you apply for on the online portal um, of IIT Kharagpur, uh, there will be a specialized interview panel where you will be interviewed, shortlisted, and um, one, might be asked, one might be asked to give the list of preference of professors that they want to work with. And then once you're shortlisted and you're selected and your the order of preference is taken into consideration and uh, a specific professor is allotted to you. About uh, the specialization in the aerospace department, uh, there is no specific specialization in the department per se. I mean that at the end of two years, once you graduate with an MTech degree, the certificate reads as MTech in aerospace engineering. But however, in the first semester, we have all common compulsory introductory courses, uh, propulsion, uh, aircraft structures, aerodynamics, uh, and uh, two lab courses as well, flight mechanics, and so on. Whereas in the second semester, all the six coursework that we have, uh, excluding the labs, is up to our choice. We can choose the subjects we want to pursue in the second semester. So if take that since I, I I choose to specialize in aerodynamics it's very obvious that I've chosen courses that are offered by the department uh, in the field of aerodynamics be like CFD, advanced viscous flow theory, turbulence and all. So we do specialize and the second year the project that we take is obviously in, in a specific stream as such but the end MTech degree that we receive uh, we'll read as MTech in Aerospace Engineering. So the seat intake for uh, the Aerospace Department, there's 23 to 25 seats for uh, MTech admissions, and this is and this does not include the seats allotted for the uh, defense uh, 
people. The cutoff score for uh, an aerospace for the aerospace engineering uh, course offered at IIT Kharagpur is generally around 500 uh, for the general category. Coming to talk about the lab facilities IIT KGP. Uh, IIT KGP is an amazing turbo machinery aerodynamics lab. It also has commendable structures lab, flight mechanics and the controls lab. The department has well equipped laboratories, no doubt, and professors who are well equipped with all the knowledge of the equipments in there. So the even in areas such as propulsion, we have very specific labs by certain professors, such as we have a lab uh, dedicated only for combustion, combustion of solid fuels. We also have a lab which is dedicated only for uh, scramjets. So we have different professors uh, who own different labs basically and they specialize in those particular uh, fields. So research areas at IIT KGP as I discussed earlier. Uh, we do have aerospace propulsion, air aircraft structures, um, artificial intelligence, if one can actually incorporate AI into the research that they wish to pursue in the department, it is still always a viable idea. And the combustion labs, as I've already mentioned, so specific research areas would include combustion instability, which is a huge area of research, combustion of metals, combustion of solid fuels, combustion of um, organometallic compounds, uh, composite and smart structures is also a very well researched uh, field here. Uh, CFT, no doubt. CFT is a massive domain of research. And we also have design of turbo machines when it comes to the turbo machinery lab and professors who specialize in that. Uh, and coming talking in terms of turbulence, we have the DNS LES uh, related simulations. It, it all comes under CFT as well. Also to mention, we have good experimental uh, labs as well. So we have good experimental aerodynamics lab. Uh, at the same time, we have a good controls lab, structures lab and all. Going further. So uh, there are also topics like jet acoustics, high speed reacting flows. We have missile guidance related uh, research areas and there are also courses like uh, navigation of satellites and uh, space mechanics courses which are actually being currently offered by the department which might aid you you know to specialize uh, in these areas also just to mention uh, in in every sim that is in the first sim as well as in the second sim we have a specified number of courses for say uh, in the first sim i had one course where i can which is a breath elective which means that i can still choose that course uh, from another department but not necessarily from the depart from the same department that i belong to so in the second semester i hired almost uh, two courses which were breath elective where i was given an option to choose either from the same department that i belong to or from a different department so <clears throat> even if one wants to say uh, specialize in controls and all they can still go uh, uh, enroll themselves into courses such as system modeling which is offered by the mechanical department or say if uh, someone wants to uh, spe uh, specialize in uh, structures field they can still enroll themselves into the vibration courses and other structure courses which are offered by mechanical department or any other department and there are uh, there's a separate dedicated cryogenic department as well which offers uh, courses on rockets rocket propulsion uh, and so on so there is a wide choice from where we can choose courses and pursue a specialization so as mentioned earlier it's here that the satellite navigation systems is a, is a research area sense fusion is a research area uh, turbo machinery performance argumentation is a good research area structural dynamics and aero elasticity is also a good area and structural health monitoring is also, <clears throat> it's also being pursued at uh, IIT Kharagpur. Uh, there are professors who are actually working on this as well. Talking about placements, 
um it's a very honest review so my super seniors that is 2022 pass outs had 100% core placement but the present batch of seniors that who who will be graduating now uh in may 2024 uh it hasn't been great for them as it is in case of all the iits so my super seniors had very good placement they were almost 100% placement whereas the present current uh, batch which is going on that is my senior batch the placement hasn't been that um, commendable talking about the companies that visit uh, the aerospace department we have honeywell airbus synergy skyroot collins um tsl etc <coughs> So, and most frequently asked question, uh, the salary package for the aerospace department students. The maximum package was offered by G, which was 16 LPA. Airbus offers a standard of 12 LPA for the MTech uh, graduates. Signed this time off with 6.6. .6. And uh, Tata Advanced Systems, um, they came up with 8 lakhs. Collins and Honeywell, they came up to between 13 to 14 lakhs per annum. So my suggestion to those who want to join IIT Kharagpur, um, the coursework here is hectic because um, we have four months of a semester. And then since it's MTech in aerospace and doesn't start with a specialization in the beginning itself. So the first semester is definitely hectic because you have a number of other introductory subjects, which includes propulsion to structures, to aerodynamics, uh, flight mechanics and all. Uh, whereas the second semester uh, depends on this, the kind of subjects that you choose. So it is doable. The experience that one has here is just worth it. There's, I don't think so. There's nothing. There's no looking back once you're here that I can say that with confidence. Um, so due to the short duration of the semester, which ranges from like four months, right? It is usually packed. But then the assignments that we get here, the kind of term papers that we are going to present is all very useful. So yes, this experience is something that one has to, you know, um, go for. I would, I, or I would say, it's something that one can't miss. So uh, talking about the software, so the prerequisites uh, one is expected to have here. Uh, any programming language, any be it MATLAB or uh, C++, be it even Python is advantageous or will be advantageous once you start working on different subjects. Uh, CAD modeling can also be can also prove to be very useful. Answers fluent, answer structure, abacus, all these are excellent tools to use. Also, just to mention, there are professors in the department who still continue to use the legacy code, uh, legacy language like Fortran. Um, so yes, so talking about Gate Aerospace Academy, as I mentioned in much earlier in the first um, half itself, um, it was just good nine months coaching that I had with them. The team is very responsible, very responsible and um, I'm very happy actually. It's a good decision that I made to join them. The first attempt I cleared Gate with a good uh, score, I was able to get in. Very obviously, joining MTech here has been life-changing. And Gate Aerospace Academy was a really good choice that I made. It's just not me, but many of my friends from my college. I, I got to know about the academy through some of my friends and by word of mouth. And all of them, they are in good positions studying in IITs. So I took the Gate Aerospace uh, classroom program. And they also offer online program, the postal program and the test series program. So since I took their uh, classroom program, I also was able to avail their uh, test series. And they have, I think, 200 plus uh, test series available, which is topic wise based, subject wise based and even the grand test series. Uh, they also offer a good set of grand tests, uh, you know, which enables us to prepare well for the actual exam. And this all online interface that they have is very user friendly and mimics the, you know, it's, and it mimics the actual um, exam interface uh, right from the calculate online calculator that is displayed and the kind of questions that they set and all. So 
So this slide shows the number of ranks uh, that have been secured by students who got coaching from this specific um, uh, coaching academy. So Kate Aerospace Academy actually has been getting uh, excellent ranks for these many years. It's just been improving over the years. So uh, one can actually uh, follow the Gate Aerospace Academy uh, and their work, their updates on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Telegram, WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube and Quora as well. So this, I hope through this video, you've got some idea about uh, what happens at IIT Kharagpur and talking about Gate Aerospace Academy again. If somebody is someone is preparing for the aerospace paper, I think this is the best place that one can get a coach. So this coaching that the team offers, the support the team offers most importantly after the lectures, the doubts that we have, the way they deal with us um, is actually very helpful. And they are very responsible and they are very active in listening to us, taking our feedback and they always follow up with us and remain and still, you know, support us until they've got our admission center, the uh, respective IITs or PSUs. Um, the coaching actually was very helpful to even prepare for certain PSU interviews. So that's all. Thank you all.